Give us a minute or two to let people come on in and join the conversation. They love pro. Oh. Oh. And I'm a felon. <laughs> she did not say that. She did. And I love it. And I love it. A felon. Why with it? City girls, I'm tired with it. Yeah, I got something. Oh my god. Good evening, people. That's that melanin. Oh, that's that chocolate chocolate. Donald B. Taft. What's up, buddy? Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. All right, who else we see? Y'all know how we do this this evening. We have to start our, our way. Good. Hello, uh, IG. Um, quote, quote on self. self. Okay. Looney in the building. Looney Ford, what's up, boom? Um, so, yeah, we are here this evening. <laughs> As we get a few more people in, because we are on Facebook Live, Instagram Live, yes. Shayla Instagram Live. Yes. You know? And soon yes, we'll yes, be back yes. to my live very soon. I can't say what date or whatever, but very soon. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on. I'm on break. She on break, y'all. She's still on her break uh, to to a certain degree, you know, because I'm here. I'm live now. Yes, exactly. Um, okay, so yeah, we want to y'all to excuse us because we're gonna hear some rappers and stuff moving because we'll be taking a little bites of our food while we're here. Um, our food just arrived. So oh, don't so mind late. us. We're so sorry. It was it was not on time. We were supposed to finish this prior to. Yeah, well, the delivery guy was very late. So and I was like, apologize. oh, my God, I'm about to come too late. I'm not about to eat at no 9, 10 p.m. <laughs> so you guys are going to have to excuse us just for a second. All our podcasters, excuse us. Oh, yes, maybe yes, this yes. is yours. Quote oneself. What's up, ladies? Nothing much. Oh, nothing. This, this, yeah, I think this is yours. This is yours. Okay. So we actually ordered from somebody local. Sorry. Not going to say who it was. Somebody local. Yeah. We already did our prayer over our food. I'm, I'm going to show y'all a picture. I'm going to show y'all a picture, okay? Do y'all see? Oh, it, and it smells so good. It does smell good. It's a... Uh, We're about to start in a minute, y'all. It's a calzone. It's a... I think I got buffalo chicken ranch calzone. Yeah. So this is going to be kind of like a conversation slash mukbang kind of thing. Yeah, this is definitely... We, we had no intentions on this being that, but... No, we didn't want to be the fact. When this food come hot, what you going... We can't be... We can't be warming this up. Amen. So anyway, um, hello to everybody who's just joining in again. We normally let a few people come in the first couple of minutes before we start. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if everybody's tuning in, our food came a little late, so we're going to have like a muck bangage type of thing. We're going to be talking to y'all, eating. We're going to be kind of cute with it, though. <laughs> um, we have a few topics tonight, but before we get into that, we're going to do what we normally do, how we introduce this thing, mm -hmm. start off right. We are <laughs> Brains and Beauty times two. I'm Shayla. And I'm Miami. All right. And tonight, most of our questions are going to be on relationships. We're going to change yeah, tonight, it. The first question is going to be something on, you know, that happens on social media. Yeah. And we're going to address that. And then yeah. we'll go into our questions, questions, our topics of the night, tonight. honey. Yes. Yes. Okay. So again, for everybody tuning in, we are we have three different cameras. So if you see us looking around, we are on three different platforms right now. Yeah. Um, and hello to our podcast family this evening, this morning, this afternoon. Amen. Amen. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Shay. Okay. So the first very topic is which is kind of what is it, like an icebreaker? Yeah, I guess that would be. I guess hers would be. An I don't know if I could do this in front of y'all. Oh <laughs> my god! Look at this. I feel so fat. Okay. It looks okay. delicious. Okay. So, 
the first topic is about we don't know if you guys follow what's her name how you pronounce it bad baby no i don't think nobody our okay. age kind of follows so her probably her nobody name. our age follows her but you know you she know has 17 million followers so you probably have heard of her at least bare minimum Mm-hmm. All right, so she is a young, young Caucasian girl, mm-hmm. and I guess she, you know, she raps. I don't know. I don't follow her, but I guess she, you know, she's an, uh, uh, yeah, a she rapper. Yeah, she got her break on Dr. Phil. I don't know if you guys remember. She was so bad. She was a little disrespectful little girl. That was her? That was her. Oh, Lord. Okay. So that's her. Okay. I didn't know so that. So that's how she got her break. Podcast family, I'm so sorry. You hear a lot of rattling because we are eating our food. So excuse the ASMR, <laughs> the ASMR vibes, but um, so yeah, a bad that. baby. She was, you know, on a Dr. Phil thing, and like you said, she has a lot of followers. She now, she now raps, and everybody knows she had a little black. She has black, black girl culture. tendencies. She got black girl co- culture, yeah, on her, and also in her. I mean, we are from a long time ago. She has the black effect. Yeah, she's, she's, been been affected. Affected she's been affected she by our culture. She's been affected by our culture, right? Mm-hmm. And you can see, you can hear it. Um, so she just got some box braids. And put obviously some black girls uh did not like it. A lot of black girls, enough for her to have to address it, right? Multiple times she had to address this. So okay, so basically her issue is black girls kept commenting that. Her hair is not made for box braids. That's basically the issue. Her hair, she should not be getting. She should not style. be wearing box box braids. Like, your hair is not for that, honey. And I mean, they just started calling her a racist after she made a comment, responding to their comment. And mm-hmm. her comment was basically that, okay, well, if I shouldn't be wearing box braids because that would make because I'm, that means I'm trying to be black, you shouldn't be wearing straight hair because that's trying to make you white. And now everyone started sure? going after her about now she's a racist because of it. And we just wanted to address this because we hear this a lot. Yes. But I'm going to just say this. Being someone as myself and my girl. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, catch me outside. Girl Lucy. The girl should say catch me outside. Her. So with her box braids, I feel she made a response. She's like you said, Mm -hmm. if y'all, if, 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 Y'all can wear our straight hair or mm-hmm. the illusion of straight hair. Why mm-hmm. can't I wear y'all type of hair? Mm-hmm. And I'm with her. As you can see, I have straight hair right now, and it does not come out my head like this at all. Never does. It never will. <laughs> never will. <laughs> because I'm black. And I'm African American, black American too, because I'm a 4C girl. So my hair would never come out straight. I would have to press it like that. And who is born naturally straight? Whites, right? Mm-hmm. And I just feel, I feel her to, like, I feel her because why are we punishing this girl because she's wearing our hair styles? When that's all we do is wear straight, relaxed hairstyles. We don't wear our texture hair 24-7, 365, a thousand years. You know what I mean? Like, a lot we, of us don't even wear it half the time. Yeah, and, so. I'm, and I'm one of them. So, especially everybody know me from Flavor of Love, VH1, I Love Money. Mm-hmm. Me always talking about my weaves and, and protecting my hair and crying about if my weave get wet. Listen, I was trying to protect the style, which was the straight or the big curls. My hair don't come like that. So, I have to agree with this girl. Like, why are we tripping that she's wearing braids when we rock their styles all the time? Especially when it comes mm-hmm. to color. When we color our hair and stuff, mm-hmm. the blondes and the, even though there's, there's some African tribes that have blonde hair, mm-hmm. but I mean, so I'm talking about how we comb through and we get our frontals and try to make it lay and melt the lace and <laughs> try to make it look like it's coming out of our scalp and all, bad baby, let me tell you something, girl, you are so cute with these little braids and as long as you haven't said anything disrespectful to the black culture, I'm all for it. We know that you have you are you have been affected by the black culture, and that's cool. Like everybody loves the black culture. Yeah. Why not? A lot of but at the same time, cultures are inspired by us. Everybody's inspired by the black culture. But ma'am, at the same time, bad baby, we have been inspired by your culture as well. And as you can see, I'm rocking a long, straight, 18 inch. That ain't coming out my head. Never. It would never do. It would never. It never will. 
Honestly, I hear you. You know I what I mean? You. So I think this is this is a scenario where you have people who are in different cultures and different type of styles. Like for example, even with our within our own culture, you may have somebody with not big boobs and this person with big boobs, right? Mm-hmm. You may say, Oh, I want those, and then somebody may say, Oh no, I want them. Or somebody with a big butt, somebody with a small butt. They can mm-hmm. say, I don't want my big butt, I want a small butt. Or somebody with a small butt would say, I don't want my small butt, I want a big butt. It's always gonna be like that. So my thing is just let the girl live. Let her be cute with our culture. Show the world that our culture is that dope that she is gonna risk her braids fall on the floor because they may slip out of now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how they're gonna go. stay because I have two <laughs> silky. But let her rock the style. The girl talk like that. She is in her. And I'm okay with knowing she's not disrespectful, knowing she's not being a real racist, but she's not. Yeah, that's not being racist. No, her, that her, baby is known her, to her have giving a recording what you basically already said to her. Mm-hmm. That's not being a racist. Like, one, look up the de- definition of racist. That's not being a yeah. racist. Mm-mm. Now, again, I think where they were coming from wasn't more so about the braids. Yeah, I think that was just the thing to jump exactly. on at the moment because she had just got them and she had just posted about them. But I think it was more so of, if you go down her feed, now again, I don't follow her. I don't follow her. So I, you know, again, yeah, I've only seen her, her before. Yeah. And I didn't even know that was the young lady on Dr. Phil. I didn't know that. So I'm sorry to cut you off. One Adrian Johnson said on IG, everybody wants what they don't have. And that's true. No yeah. matter what culture, no matter yeah. what, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But you said you was going down her feed. I'm and- going down her feed. And if you go down her feed, honestly, what do you see? You see influence. In- complete influence of black culture from the hairstyles to the nails to the the the, 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 the lash, the way she talks, everything. That's what she's inspired by. Okay, that's clearly that's what 17 million people like. I mean, I don't know because I wouldn't follow you if I didn't like something about you. Yeah. And that, and she screams that in every almost every post that I I went down quite a bit of posts and I'm like, okay, so why are we mad now? Because this this is this is this obviously mad. is what she is. You should have been mad a long time ago if that's the case. Yeah. So again, let that girl live. That let her, she that wear cute. rock braids just like you want to wear weaves and, and straight hair and stuff. So maybe look, let I'm her rocking, do her. Because we don't mine. our hair don't grow to no 30, 30 inches. And all these different kind of things that we Girl, it don't grow we'll no, none of that. It okay. don't even grow no bob straight. Well, yeah. that either. It don't yeah. even grow no mushroom cut straight. Yeah. It don't grow straight, period. So why are we tripping? Like, let it go. Let this girl, like Shay said, let, let, let the girl live. Let her experience a little bit more extra of the black culture that she already has. And that's it. Next topic, girl. We got to move on because, bad baby, shout out to you, girl. You look real cute, too. Yeah, her bob are good, whoever They look it. real cute on her. Okay. So, okay, Next moving topic. on. From we, are just, we are just crunching. Oh, we are. I do apologize, y'all. Okay. So, next topic. Okay, so if you have been <laughs> today, my girl was responding on, if you guys follow the Roommates podcast, she responded to a uh, topic, which basically was... <laughs> Oh, she responded, not us. Okay, well, she she responded on behalf of us, because she already knew I 100% agree with what she was saying. Can men handle strong women? That was the that was the title of the, I guess it was an IGTV post, and that the Roommates podcast uh, posted, and she responded, and everyone, we had like a lot of comments on her particular comment about it. Now, he was basically saying that he felt like how can I word it? it? How can I word it? Like, he felt like we, like, when we say strong, we say it almost in a neg. Our, our connotation of it is very negative. Like, okay, I'm, a, I'm strong because I don't take no crap from nobody. And I can handle stuff without you. I don't need no man. I don't, all of those very kind of negative connotations all on negative. strong. It was all negative. None of it was positive. And you would think common sense would tell you that that's, you know, yeah, that may be what you're getting from it and but strong women a lot of strong women may have those tendencies they may very well think that way that you can just i am i can't handle things without you i don't need you i choose to be with you that 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 could very well be true you know i I can yeah so i don't think that that was that really should have been taken as a negative connotation and it was he took it very negatively now again i don't know his experiences and i don't know what he's experienced yeah but my dog explained it very thoroughly. So go ahead, boo. Explain what you 
what you wrote. I forgot what I put earlier. I just, <laughs> I just know I, I explained that strong women does not mean mean women. Yeah. Strong women does not mean I don't need no man. Mm-hmm. Because strong women know we want to get married. We want to have kids. Yeah. We want to, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I think he got the mix up of strong women with, um, try, let me get my notes, honey. <laughs> strong women with um, being very dominant. Mm-hmm. There's a difference mm-hmm. between being a strong woman and being a dominant, controlling, mm-hmm. possessive, yeah. mean, behind woman. And there's a lot of them out there. And, and I he made that. it seem like it was equal. Yeah, yeah strong, not, that has nothing to do with it. A strong woman knows exactly who she is. She is not afraid to be herself. She is not afraid to take her own journey. Mm-hmm. She does. She, she, you know what I mean? She is fearless. She knows exactly where she wants to go. She's not confused. She doesn't need anybody to, to acknowledge her ideas. She can stand by a man and still hold her own. <coughs> Girl, I almost choked. <laughs> <coughs> She can be a man's best teammate. There you go. Thank you. She could be a man's best teammate because she mm-hmm. understands that she has a lot of qualities that a lot of softer women probably, when I mean softer, yeah. meaning they do, uh, how can I say it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They need more of a man to be there with them. They need their man to make a lot of decisions for them. Mm-hmm. And it's all about how you was brought up probably. Mm-hmm. And sometimes not even that because you have some women who are in households with, with both parents and one parent doesn't matter. And some women just come out to be like that. And it does not mean somebody is mean. It does not mean she doesn't want a man because of, let's, let's talk about strong women who have good marriages, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Do yeah. you think Beyonce is not a strong woman? woman and that Jay, it takes a certain type of man to even be with a strong woman. That's number, a strong That's number, woman. One. That's number one. Amen. Right, there's no way that a not Jay Z could be with a Beyonce, right? And vice versa. Even though Jay Z messed up, she was about to leave his brother, take all his little money, and he tightened straight back up. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, Jay Beyonce is a very strong woman, like, and not because she has an attitude. She knows what she wants. She knows she could do this. She knows she could do that. She got her own. She could do that. She chooses to be with Jay Z because she chooses to be with Jay Z. And of course, they came together and made a bigger thing yeah. on top of that, but she still is a strong woman. Angela Bassett and her husband. Okay. Angela Bassett Thank is you. such a strong woman. Her husband is there to support her. It takes a certain type of man. Now, some men are very intimidated by a strong woman who can be her own self, who has her own voice, who has mm-hmm. opinions to talk about and give to the relationship mm-hmm. that a that a weak-minded man won't be able to take mm-hmm. because he mm-hmm. may feel inferior as if he doesn't have a purpose in a relationship when, lo and behold, a certain man of a strong woman knows that if he has this woman, they just they just better together. He, he will allow her to be her. Let's go on with another couple. Uh, Cause I wrote some couples down. <laughs> Remy Ma and Papoose. Yeah, perfect. Exactly. Remy Ma is such a firecracker, and y'all know that. Remy Ma is a firecracker, but baby, if you watched her, if you watched her 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 reality show, which I did, and I had to because I wanted to see how Papoose move around, around her. her. Yeah, Papoose is such a man. Amen. Let me tell you about a man. Okay. This man has to be a man to even be around somebody like Remy Ma, who is a strong woman, which means she's into, she can be independent. She chooses not to. She wants a husband. She actually just had a new baby, and she has a career. She knows what she wants to do. She 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 doesn't need the fluff. She doesn't need how do you say? Um, uh, she doesn't need to be um, how do you say? Um, what well, guess? Like gassed up is another mm-hmm. word for that. But anyway, she doesn't need to be gassed up or none of that. She knows who she is. She knows what she wants. And she will verbally express that. Not only that, people go through a lot of stuff. Some strong women just go through things. Mm-hmm. And they know how to get through any storm, mm-hmm. any hell, any flood, any fire. A strong woman can get through that. Mm-hmm. Not all women are like that. Some women may buckle down. Some women may lose their mind. Some women may go lost. Some women just they don't need, know what to do with it. They, they don't have do. no vision without a man. And my thing, I would never understand why a man wouldn't want a woman who is strong, who could get them through anything and everything that they face. Okay. Period. Like I don't a get real it. a real partner. A real man. 
a more weak-minded man needs a woman who comes to him. Baby, what are we going to do today? I don't want to do it in my life. What do you think I should do in my life? What do you think you want to do with your life? What do you need me to do for your life? Just tell me. Just, just give me the instructions on how to live this life. No, a strong man is like, babe, what you want to do? Okay, here's the directions. This is what we're going to do. Okay, we're facing financial issues. No problem. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. We're going to do this together. We're going to get through this. Babe, you, we lost some people in our family. No problem. We're going to get through this. God got our back. Mm -hmm. Like, a strong woman is that. A strong woman is not this negative mean lady just because she's very hair rolling because i'm one of them just because i'm hair rolling or head strong or, head strong, mm -hmm. or because i have a pen and i and i have a voice does not mean i want a man that i don't want a man because i want a man who can compliment me and come in and say babe to talk all that talk what what, mm -hmm. what what you thinking about what you think we should do and i could tell him he can say okay i like that well what about we do this and he could still pick and still lead me because it takes a certain type of man anyway yep. to allow a strong woman like myself and any mm. other strong woman mm. to even submit to any old man. Because we're not submitting to any old man. Trust me. We nope. know the weaklings from Special the real breed. man. And we would, we would come down off our, off our chariot. Not the high got, horse. Because we are arrogant sometimes. Okay, we are a little arrogant because we know, you know what I'm saying? We know, we, 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 we what know kind what of person ain't arrogant? We know what we bring to the table, right? We know we are very... <sighs> but anyway, I said all that in a little small paragraph, and I said, you know, I said to say that. But I just think it takes a certain type of man to appreciate a strong woman who is headstrong, who is strong-minded, mm -hmm. who can hold her own and help him hold his when he needs her to. Amen. Period. Amen. Why would I want my son with the woman who can't go through any trials with him. Because life is all about trials. And if he has a little snow bunny, uh, snow white, let me just do snow white, because snow white, she was just so, not snow bunny, because that's like a white girl. I don't, I don't mean white girl. Snow white, she was very, you know, hey, nah. I want my son to be with a woman who can help him through everything. Anything. If anything. And yeah. same thing with my, my daughters. I want my daughters to be able to stand on her own two feet when she has to. Whether she has a man or not. Either or. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I think we have to look at these things from a lens of if we have daughters and sons. Mm -hmm. Period. Like, that's it. Nothing else. Nothing more. And anybody who thinks a strong woman is intimidating or they're... They because one of the people was saying, you need to change. You need to change. You need to be more... You need to be more softer. You need to shut yeah. up and hide your voice. In so many words. Really? And it's like, no, my thing is, as I said, God created us all to be certain people. Mm -hmm. And he also created us with our partners who will appreciate that, who will adore that. And our job is to find people who are our equals, who will appreciate who God made us today, mm -hmm. not who we're going to be in 50 years. Mm -hmm. So we're always going to grow. But can you appreciate me today in my strength? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Period. Like, that's it. I'm not going to turn into this whole new butterfly to appreciate you. <laughs> Girl, <it's like> preach. <laughs> a strong woman won't settle just for, for the, the deed. deed. Thank, because thank we you. have a mind. Thank you. We have morals. We know exactly what's right and what's wrong. We follow our gut. We know directions we're going to do. And at the end of the day, at, at, out of all of this, a strong woman can do anything, can be in anything. You can put her anywhere in the world. She will get in through. any situation. She will get through it. She ain't gonna be stressed out mm -hmm. about to blow her brains out. Nothing wrong with that. And I and I have sensitivity to people who do commit suicide, but it's just like she won't go crazy. What's gonna happen if you have a a, a, a marriage where the husband loses his job, he loses everything. He can't go to work. What's her role now? What's her role? To sit there and sob every day? With you. Oh, my God. We're going to die. <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to go hungry. No. What you finna do as a strong woman? You going to get him together, get you together, get y'all mm -hmm. together, and make sure you direct him into what he needs to be? Or you going to sit back and allow him to fall and y'all whole life just, just go away? I don't want my sons with nobody like that. No, I wouldn't want mine with nothing like that either. 
So I just, I think we I'm wanna, sorry, I don't, I don't want to. No, you good. Skills, you bro. good. You're explaining it exactly how it should have been explained. Hey, Miss Team Pretty Fit. Um, so, yeah, no, you're explaining it perfectly. Oh, I mean, no, I, no. we really wanted to address that because mm. that that's a thing, I think, in, in society is that men really, really take that word. When we say that we're a strong woman, they really take that in a negative way. And, and they sure. really shouldn't. It shouldn't. It should be something that we praise and uplift. Not that we're looking down to, like, oh, I don't want no parts of that. It's crazy. Because it's like, what's wrong with you? Exactly. So my question is, what's wrong with you? Why are you so weak? Why don't you want a strong man to be there to help you? And I say this on everything we talk about. When God created a man, he created him. He out here with the, with the trees. <laughs> and then God was like, this man just, I don't know what's going on with this man. Let me bring him a woman because he don't know what he got going on. He just lost in the sauce. Let me bring him a woman. Not lost in the sauce. I'm done. Seriously, let me bring him a woman. God said, okay, it's time to bring him a woman. You know, put him to sleep, get his real, make a make a woman. Now this woman comes because she's already whole. She's already complete. She's already together. Okay? She came. She came because God said he needed her. Not the other way around. So this is why some women can be by themselves because we already came created whole. We came complete. We can't exist without. However, we choose and we have been we have been placed to be here to help y'all out. So if we have been here to be placed to help y'all out, why wouldn't you want a strong woman to help you out? Okay, why would you want a weak partner? Unless you're weak. And on that note, <laughs> now if you want to say what, what you say <laughs> <laughs> now, unless you want a woman who who doesn't have a voice, who's not strong, mm -hmm. if that makes you feel like a man, there's something wrong with, with you. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Straight up, straight up. Why won't you want somebody who can? <sighs> A woman who pushes you, a woman who challenges you, is a strong woman. That's not something. That's not something to look down upon. It's not something to shun. Like, oh, there's something wrong with her because she because she's too strong. She's, she's too, too. She she's too um she's too aggressive. Yeah, no. he's too she's too com she's too compatible. Com she's too combative. Yeah. See, that's insane. No, that's insane. And what it sounds like is you sound weak. Yeah. That's that's just what the, I mean. You honestly, want somebody? That's what it sounds like. What kind of woman do you want? Someone who just every time you say something, she just jumps at it and that's it. She has no mind. She has no say. She don't really care. As long as you lay in a D and 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 throw in the bread, she's good. I mean, I mean, that's to me that's what it either. sounds like. She just has a direction. Like she has no say in nothing. She just needs to lay there, be quiet, and be the maid, be the sex slave, um, and be okay. Okay, honey, whatever you say, whatever you say. Now, again, a strong woman can be that too. Mm -hmm. She can also do that, mm -hmm. but you have to respect where she's still strong at because you respect that she can respect and know when it's her time to fall back and let you be the man. So, hey. fellas, I hope you took some notes out there. <laughs> I hope you look for a strong woman to help you out. Amen. Don't be intimidated. Somebody is there to help you, like really help you, bro. Like why you don't want no help? Because you, because you're a man, you got it all together. You don't have it all together. What if your arm break tomorrow? What if you get in a car accident tomorrow? What you gonna do if you have no strong woman in all areas? You don't want. If she ain't strong, she gonna leave you. Cause she don't have time to handle nobody who's handicapped. She don't even know what to do with her life. So how she gonna help you out? How she gonna help you if you handicapped now? You don't got into a car accident, huh? <laughs> huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me go around my notes before we go to the next topic. Okay, go ahead, boo. Um, Hello, I'm ready for black love. Strong, what's up, what's up? Strong women are strong-minded. They do things alone. Oh, God, I don't know what I, I don't know what I want. <laughs> uh, they choose to have men. Men want women to be there as... They grow, change. Mm -hmm. Men want women to be there as they growing and changing and lying and cheating ooh, and all ooh, of this. Ooh, ooh. And there's yeah. women out here who have a strong personality, a strong 
you know, personalities. And you run at the salt. Yeah, you you just run at it that would actually will submit to you and submit to their man at times, at certain times as needed. You know what I mean? But some men are just fearful, intimidated, and brush her off. But y'all would want us, all of us, y'all want all of us, strong or not strong, to be there when y'all just, y'all lost. You, 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 you lying. You don't know where you want to go. You lost in life. You cheating. But y'all want us to be right there. But when you have a strong woman who may be a little bit more boisterous, you don't want to watch and see her blossom into the queen that she already is anyway. You want her to change right there and say, you need to stop all this queenship and become a little peasant. No, I will not. <laughs> um, <laughs> men need to live. Hold on, let me see what I wrote. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, I was so upset. I wrote this so quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Men can't live without women. Not one man, a man can get a, a divorce. He can have a breakup. He can't he live. He, real find a, he finds a woman so quickly. Mm -hmm. They can't live without women. Mm -hmm. But guess who can live without the other partner? Not to just toot the horn, but again, we have been built already whole and complete. So we choose to succumb. Oh, to succumb. And give ourselves to our men. But baby, it takes a certain type of man mm, right here. for me to submit and to succumb to. I don't care how strong and how strong mind I am. I don't care how voiceless I am. There's a man there who's gonna make me say, Oh, what you say? What you <laughs> ain't no weak man gonna make me do that because I'm gonna I'm gonna check I it can't. quick. Trust me, every woman has every woman can do that. Every, just yes, like, every just, woman, just yes. like there's always one woman who can make a man change his life. Mm -hmm. There's always one man who can make a woman who is very strong and alpha. Mm -hmm. Submit. Up. Come on now. Somebody better preach to me tonight. Okay. Submit. Amen. And we're that eating. So For true. everybody who's joining in tonight, we have been eating. Our food came a little bit late. Yes, we do apologize. So we can't the food up because it is good. Okay. But anyway. Right, good. That's how we feel about this whole strong woman topic, you guys. I really didn't think it was going to go the way it did. I just wanted to give my feedback on it and just let them know. Don't sit here and down every strong woman. You are out of your mind. <laughs> Smacking. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say about so strong So we just women. wanted to bring that up because we think that's, a, one, a real issue because we hear, you hear this a lot. That men and really we, feel like that. Yeah, and, and not all crazy. men. Because there's some men who love strong women. They, they can't do nothing but to have a strong woman. And let's talk about uh, uh, Beyonce's mom. They okay. Oh baby, that husband there. Mm -hmm. It takes a certain husband it would be with Tina Knowles. Hmm. Cause she's strong too. But it's working. It ain't no any old body either. So anyway. Oh. All right. Well, we're gonna move on from that. Where's my plate? <laughs> <laughs> uh you know, one, whenever you come down, whenever y'all come down and visit, you know, we link up. Your plate will be ready. Yeah, so whatever you order on the menu. So you let us, you know, let us know when y'all coming down. Okay. Moving on. Moving on to the next topic. That was a good topic. I had to get that off my chest, honey, because, you know, I can't be out here having these men talking about strong women are not nonsense. Yeah, and, that's and, crazy. And, and they're, they're, they're so hard to get along with. No, we're not. You're just, you're just a little bit weak. <laughs> you're just a little bit weak. You're just a little bit weak. <laughs> and you, you're intimidated, and that's okay. 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 Next topic. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. So what does so our next question is what does patience look like in a relationship to you? Because everyone's version, I didn't realize that there's different people have different versions of patience in their relationship. Like, what does patience look like to you? And when okay, when you were in a relationship, what does patience look like to you? Oh, what patience look like to me in a relationship? Uh huh. And we want everyone to respond to this. Y'all respond in the comments. Hey, Pink Ja. I was getting a baby ready for bed. So, hey, ladies. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Pink Ja. Yeah. So, patience to me in a relationship. I don't know if y'all want to hear this. Oh. It's going to die. 
got to make sure it don't die. What a, um, no, it's at 50%. You good. It's at 20%. That's 5G. Oh, that's 5G. Oh, I don't know. Okay. 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 So what does patience look like to you in a relationship? Y'all ready to hear this? Okay. Patience to me looks like biting my tongue. That, that, that's patience. <laughs> Wait. Okay. In a relationship, patience to you is biting your tongue. Oh, girl. You showing, you, 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 you are just, you have a lot of patience when you're doing that. When I have to, whoo, let me just be patient. Let me just, let me just, let me just. Hubby, I hope you're not watching this one because I'm, I'm going, you know. Oh, you gotta be real. I help. I am. I'm just telling. I, I know he's not watching live because I might get a call in between this. You know. Okay. But no patience to me is is biting my tongue a little bit when I have to. Patience is. Oh, I think that's a number one for me. That's a number think, one for I you. I can't think of nothing else right now. Like I remember, it's been a long time since I've been in a real true relationship. I'm trying to think of how was I when I was patient. Oh yes, I was biting my tongue, honey. I was. <sighs> Okay, well, I'll give mine. I'll, I'll give, give mine because you're married. Shayla got the baby hairs on point. <laughs> you know, I, I try, know. girl. I try. I try. You know, I try to get them together. Okay, so patience to me whew, in a relationship. Baby, don't hurt me. Okay, um, so patience to me is I talk to myself a lot. Okay. I have to. I talk myself down okay. <laughs> a lot because I'm one, if I feel a certain kind of way about something, and I don't like what you're doing or saying, or I don't like where this is going, I have to, like, I have to step away. And I will literally be doing stuff and just talking to myself. And I don't realize I'm doing it until I'm, like, about wrapping up. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's just me here. Yes, yeah, it's just you. Well, okay, but but, but I, no, at, at that point, it has helped me. I've talked it through to myself because at that point, I realized, okay, I, I hear how it sounds. So I feel like I'm saying it to you. I can hear how it sounds. Do I sound crazy? Do I sound uh, like I'm not making any sense? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'd be like, okay, right, I didn't make no sense when I said that. That didn't really make sense. He had a point. All right. But my patience is kind of like I'll talk to myself. Patience is allowing him to have it sometimes. Even when I do not agree, when I think he is dead wrong, okay, I that's patience to me just allowing him to have it not uh, tr trying not to let every little thing that i don't like become bigger than thing. it has to be yeah okay. like okay i don't agree with that you know whatever move on because I, in the beginning the patience just what about patience wasn't there. what about patience during other stuff besides like correcting like patience when they are uh maybe trying something new or if they are trying to change something, patience for me is in just trying to, uh, uh, words of affirmation, words of affirmation, con constantly just trying to allow the time, to allow the time to kind of go to give him his space to be able to explore whatever it is that he's trying to do, yeah. whether to start something new, start a new project, go in a different direction with like career changes or whatever. Just words of affirmation and trying to allow him and give him the space to do that. Mm -hmm. Still sound and still, even if I'm I, I'm leery, I'm still trying to sound encouraging and be encouraging and supportive in whatever way that I can. Okay. But sometimes, I mean, honestly, hey. even as a strong woman, that's hard to do. That is very hard to do. But you have to, but you can't make everything an argument and everything can't be an issue. So you have to pick and choose your battles. I am Miss No. I am I am Mrs. No. Mrs. No. Patient is realizing I could have cussed you out or yell, but I take a deep breath and ask Jesus to take the wheel and Amen, walk girl. away. People sometimes <laughs> try girl spirit at a time. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen, amen. That is good. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah it my is. patience is biting my tongue, honey. Oh, oh, oh. I'm you it's have hot. to. You have to. And again, with strong women, this may be a time where he, where, you know, <laughs> this gentleman from Roommates Podcast would not like this kind of woman because a lot of times yeah, it's very hard for of, us yeah. to be able to 
show patience in certain scenarios, in certain situations. Because it's, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. I'm trying yeah. to solve the problem. Yeah. This is trying the to move issue. On. Yeah. This is the issue. Okay, no problem. Here's a solution. Here's my solutions. We have literally five minutes to get this together because I'm not going to be here for 24 hours, 48 hours, a whole week trying to figure out the problem. Yeah. No, let's take time. Let's take 10 minutes. How can we fix this? That's it. It's, what's there's, what's that there's no, yeah, yeah, there's no prolonging it. Mm -hmm. Let's fix it now because if we sit here and go through the pity party, mm -hmm. what do we do? Like, that's not a strong minded person. Like, yeah. I cannot. I cannot. Amen. So I can bite my tongue for a couple of minutes. If we have to get a solution, baby, I need to get a solution. We can't be here for a whole week. I I'm going to lose my mind because I'm a solution-oriented person. Yeah. I'm going to try to find the solution if there's an issue that come quickly. How I may have a little moment where I may have to cry. I may have to be in my feelings or whatever it may be. Tighten it up. Get to the solution. Refocus. Let's go. Let how can we get through this storm? Yeah. yeah. Over this Quickly. fire pit. Quick. Before it comes and burn down everything. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's and I think that's life. the part that we, I think that's the key to kind of understanding the reasoning behind why strong women kind of are the way they are. They're just, they handle, as my mom would say, handle your business. That is her, that is her favorite line. She says this almost every time I speak to her. Handle your business. Strong women handle their business. They don't wait on anybody else Baby. to figure it out for them. Listen, whether they're married or not, whether in a relationship or not, they try to figure it out. They are problem solvers. Let's get it together. Let's, let's figure out how we're going to move on, how I'm going to achieve what I'm going to achieve. And let's keep going. Even if we fail at it, okay, fine, whatever. We learn. Now let's keep, let, yeah. what else? Let's and try we can something fall, else. We can fall flat on our face on our way going. Yeah. Fine. Let's get up. How are we gonna brush our shoulders off? Are we gonna brush it off with our hands? Are we gonna brush it? We gonna get in the shower? Like we gotta, we gotta figure this thing out. So, um, <laughs> so look, I already booked for black lessons. Say it with your chest. <laughs> and girl, Lucy said, Lucy, it's understanding, it's understanding the other person in my book. Yeah, patience. Yeah, patience. Of course, of course. It's trying you to understand. To. You gotta try. Ooh, it's hard. It's hard, but you gotta try. Yeah. But that's how you get through those hard times, is yeah. through having that patience and, ha and really understanding where the other person is coming from. But I ain't gonna lie, I have a big, I have a hard time biting my tongue. Next All time. we can do is pray on it. <laughs> okay, we can do is pray on it. Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna need somebody to be patient with me as I'm being patient with them, honey. Because I don't know. I don't. Whew. Amen. Okay. So I'm next trying topic. to fix stuff so much. It's hard the, but that, the, again, that's your personality. That's my it's personality. Just, it's what I it need is. somebody to love your girl for your girl. Amen. Don't be trying to turn me into the wind <laughs> when I am the fire, ice, and storm and Ooh. water, honey. I mold, melt. You feel me? Ooh. I don't just blow. You know, you know, okay. All right. Like wind. No, 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 no. I honey. got you. I got you. I wasn't taking it there. Okay, okay. Oh, I was not taking Girl, this is a PG show. Okay, Thank we you. don't do that. We ain't talking about that. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, next question. Next question. Yeah, I got eyes on that. That part. That part. Hold yeah. on. This, this is a PG show. We ain't going, we ain't going there. We don't talk about them kind of things. I said wind versus water and ice and fire. You we don't, know, we don't talk ahead. about them kind of things. No, no, no. Mm. Okay. Not over here. Next comment. Uh, oh no, next uh, topic. <laughs> How important is open communication and can keeping it too real with your partner go terribly wrong? Girl, you know how I feel about this. You can't ask me these questions. Of course I can. Oh, okay. Say it again. Okay. For everybody in the back. How important <laughs> is open communication with your partner? And I mean complete. Open it's very important. Let me just say that to myself. It's very important to have open, true communication with your partner. What's but can next? keeping it too real go terribly wrong? It can, it will, and it has, right? At the end of the day, I feel I was so open. I was so honest. I gave you everything that was on my mind. It may have hurt your feelings. It may have have your mind thinking about me halfway to halfway. <laughs> But at least you know how I feel. You know what you get when you get Angela. You know exactly who she is, and she's going to give you the real. Has it backfired before in my past relationships? Of course. Why you got to say that? Why you had to say that? 
I have a problem with filtering in relationships my emotions, my feelings, my thoughts. I okay. can't filter it. But do you expect for him to filter his to you? No, I want to know. However it comes out. It's not no no no. That's a different. That's a third question. However, okay. it comes out is okay. a whole different way. Okay, how you deliver it is a a, a a whole different little ball game. Okay, but I want to know it all. Let me know so I know what we have on our plate. Let me just give y'all an example. Let's see. We got these two little wings left. These little two petty wings left. <laughs> <laughs> pour it all in here. Okay, I'm gonna pour mine all in here. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna add hot sauce to this? Are we gonna add barbecue to this? Are we gonna get we're gonna remove some of this stuff? We're gonna make a big nice little oven something. I don't know. We're gonna add seasoning to this. Like what are, what are, what are we gonna do with these things we all just blurted out? What are we gonna do with this? Because if you're not giving something into this plate, I can't help figure that out. I can't make it taste better. I can't help put it either in a salad or <laughs> On the side with some chicken. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it if you don't tell me what's here. So I, for me and my personality, I have to see it all. And when you start hiding stuff for me, that's a problem. So we're not 100% not, open with you. Okay. Yeah, cause, because I'm not going to hide. I feel you. Only thing I've hidden, all I read is, let me just be honest right here. The only thing I've hidden in my relationship, mm -hmm. and I have not been honest about, mm -hmm. is wearing my hair. <laughs> that's not, and that's not really hiding because you. I'm sure you made that clear that that's not clear. something that you're I'm not open to. to. Yeah, right. Not, now. I don't like it that much. You can't see my red hair. You're not even in important. Yeah, you know what I mean. Gotcha. Other than that, I have to tell you how I feel because if I don't, I would have. I, I I live in. I don't like to have regret. Right. So if I feel like, man, I should have told him this like ten days ago. I should. I wish I would have told him this. That whole wish I woulda, coulda, I don't like to have that on my heart and in my in my life. I cannot have the wish I coulda, woulda. I don't do that in my career choices. Like, I try to go after everything that I love to do. And that goes with the same thing in my relationships. I have to tell you, man. Yeah. I don't, it's going to hurt, whatever. But at least you know my heart. You know everything. I have to treat you as if, this may be a little deep. I have to treat you as if, like, you know they say God knows my heart? Mm -hmm. You don't even have to say half of the stuff because he knows everything. Mm. I have to treat you somewhat in the same arena. arena. Okay, I have to I tell you. you everything. Okay. Because if I don't tell you everything, how can we really? How can we really? How can I really be me? Be, yeah. How yeah. can you really either love me for me or not love me for me? Or how Ooh. can we figure out this thing? Like, how can we really figure out life? You being my partner for the rest of my life, and I yeah. can't be my true, authentic self, no matter. How much I have to tell you, I'm going to tell you. Now, how I say it, it's different. You reading? Yeah, I'm okay. sorry. I was reading the comments. So, so, so how, I have to, how I have to say it, that's a whole different ballgame because sometimes it may split out a little, a little rocky. Mm -hmm. But you know everything. I don't leave nothing out. I got to tell you. I got to tell you everything because I will feel at peace knowing I told him everything. Now, if he dealt with my truth, the way he just dealt with it, I found that because I was my true, authentic self. Yeah, I put. I mean, period. I respect that. 100%. And that's it. Yeah. So that's how I deal. Let me ask you the question. Okay. So, how important is it <laughs> <laughs> to have open communication uh -huh. in your relationship mm -hmm. and keeping it too real? Can keeping it too real? Yeah, can is not there. Okay. okay. So, or just say it to me, girl. Okay, and can keeping it missing. can keeping it too real go wrong? wrong. Yeah. Um. I guess it could definitely go wrong. One, no one likes to hear the negative things about them or how they're dealing with something. That's nobody. True. That's true. nobody. It doesn't matter who it is, and it doesn't matter who it's coming from. That's true. It can be from a parent. Mm -hmm. Uh. Uh. It can oh, be from you parent. guys. It can be from a. A uh, spouse, a boyfriend, a friend, it doesn't matter. No one wants to hear negativity from anybody about something they're doing. So, yeah. But I think you have to, in order for me to be able to not only open up to you, but to trust yeah. you with anything about me, yeah. I have to open up. 
I have to be completely honest and open with you. It's it's hard. I think this is something that I've truly, truly learned being married about certain things being on the table because we we go out with our with like different couples mm-hmm. all the time. We've actually started doing that more and more as we as we're married as we you know stay together longer. Yeah, and. You just hear so many people say, oh, you know, or you have one-on-one conversations. Like, I have a conversation with a woman, and she'll be like, nah, I don't, you know, certain things I just don't, I don't, we just don't discuss, or I just don't tell him how I feel about A, B, C, and D. And some of these things that they're talking about are very vital. Like, how do you not share that with your life partner? Think about this. Like, how do you not share that? And I don't care how weird or how uncomfortable it can be. There are certain things, not even certain things. You should be feel like one that is your best friend. You should you know, be. You should feel down. completely open. And again, I hundred. This that was a great analogy with with the same way that that God knows your every move, knows everything on your heart. He knows what you yeah like, don't like, all those kind but of I things. Without you saying a word, He so, knows how you truly feel. I want my partner to know exactly the same. I want him to know what I'm going to do before I do it. I want him to know how I feel about something before it escalates, I, before it even escalates to where it's going. I want him to know the decision I would make before I even make it. One, it makes because your that life. Mean, I mean, he knows you. He know he. Yeah. You like know me that. on yeah. the inside, not just the things I care to sh- to share. You know me fully my my heart my true intentions everything yeah. you should be able to do that yeah and i think that's something that in my marriage we had to learn is that there really shouldn't be anything that's not on the table yeah there are things that are always going to be uncomfortable yeah there are For certain sure. things that are uncomfortable to talk about just that's just the truth and that's yeah, and, life and, and then some people may say you got to pick and choose your battles you got to just not say nothing about this but yeah no and i always i may not talk about it then if it's not if it's not a battle that I want to uh, entail right like to, to dig in on right then I may not address it then because t- the 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 emotions are too high and I don't want to take it I don't want to take it in a different direction yeah I want to focus on that issue I but I'll bring it up thing. in a better at a better moment a better time and it's giving me time to really think about how I want to say it in a way that the other person will receive it now that's, that's big yeah no, that's big because that's something I just witnessing in my last relationships, yeah, I have a bad timing problem. So when you feel something, you just say it right I now. I have to say it because yeah. this how I feel right now. Like you, you want it off. You want I it wanna, off. You. you I want to talk. Say. I want to talk about it <laughs> right now. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it too. next week. What you just did said. Come here. Right, we, we, we gotta. <laughs> Come here, right now, right please now. Talk, please, because I, 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 I can't hold I can't this. go to sleep with this. Yeah, yeah, I cannot wake up the next morning, honey. I, I, yeah. gotta, I just got to get off me because it's too heavy That's on me. me you too. will not let me carry these burdens of my voice alone. No. We're going to deal with we this need to talk about it now. Yeah. So I can honestly say that's one of my things that I have to work on is the timing because maybe everybody is not like me. Everybody's like not a problem solver. Like people don't want to pro- solve the problems right then and there when they, they, they want to have time to think but about it. But when I have a problem, I don't have, I don't want to think about it. I want to solve it right now. We think about it as we're talking and communicating. It will get figured out while we're talking in that moment right then and there. Mm-hmm. But that has backfired in my past. It's backfired in everybody my, in my ain't like me. <laughs> That's bad part of my present. Everybody ain't like me. Come on, both of y'all Pisces. Pisces. Yep. Again, like everybody look, ain't like me. I don't want to wait. Even in my friendships, like I don't know if each still on, but even in my friendships, I have people tell me, "You can't say that." But I'm like, "But that's how I feel. I'm your friend, and I should be able to say it." And I'm gonna tell you, and you should, should know I'm not gonna say anything that I'm trying, trying to like beat you down or tear you down. I'm trying it's to bring something place. to your attention. I'm t- it's, it's coming from a place of love. I need you to know. And, yeah. I'm, and I'm not the sugarcoat friend. Like, if you come to me and you with your pity party, I am not the one to sit in a party with. I'm going to tell you, <laughs> but to get out of this party, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you need to go down the street. You need to have a walk. Like, this is a real reality. Get it, that is. Get it together. Let's solve this problem. Yeah. Here's what the- like, I, I, I just can't because I seen life way worse than that. So, anything. That is not as worse as I've personally seen and yeah. have and grown up in. Mm-hmm. Everything else is nothing to me. 
And it's all figure outable. Figure outable. So I said, I'm the uh, I'm ready for black listeners. I'm the same. Gotta solve it. Let's handle it. Yeah, let's do it I'm right now. You. And I think, but in my relationship, that has been a really big issue because my husband is the exact opposite. He want he one he gets he's one he, he doesn't want to he's too afraid of saying something that he can't take back, especially when he's angry, like when he's really really angry. Yeah. So in his mind, let's not talk about it right now. But what happens is you he, it'll go tomorrow. It'll go two days, three yeah, days, four growing. days. Now y'all are good and talking and you're not, you're not really, you're on it, but you're not showing that you're still on that topic. Right. Like you're like, you're mad. And now he's over it and it will never come up again. And that's where, you know, men, I need, I need to address that men and hubby. If you are watching, that does not work. And he knows this because I've had this conversation. That does not work. You know, I, I don't have a problem with waiting till the next day to address something. If you say, you know, let me sleep on it. But one, I don't like to go to bed angry. I hate that. And it, but that bothers me. I don't me. like to have stuff on my mind either. And yeah, and I don't, and I, I, my mind is twirling on it the whole time. Like I'm talking, in my mind, I'm talking to myself, to you. And you're, and you're laying next to me, but I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to myself in my mind, but I'm talking to you. I don't like this. That is like pure torture. Tell like let I don't give a dog one if we don't agree and we're a little combative. I don't care, but talk to me. Yeah. Let me know. Like, let me feel at ease that you're in this too. That you're because I'm not going to battle with myself. I'm going to war for us, for you. I'm trying to fix whatever the issue is. Yeah, straight. we're not in a war against each other. No, I'm in this with you. So let's figure this out. Yeah, yeah. So I've had to that. learn about my timing. About and, and about how I say it too, because I would say things where when I go back, I'm like, yeah, I understand how he why he didn't want to say nothing right there, because I, yeah, I, I could have said that differently. You understand what I'm saying? So I, that is something I've realized in myself. Yeah. I have to work on. Yeah, but then at the same time, I would have to have a man who is patient with me to allow yeah. me to work on my timing and yeah. my delivery. Yeah, because the delivery. There you it's, go. It's, it's hard. I can kind of. But then sometimes when I'm kind of calm, they may think I'm being condescending or something. But it's like, no, I'm calm now. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Because <laughs> if I was like this and like this, it would be a problem. But as soon as I get like this, too, it's always. Like, it's almost like afraid of that reaction, too. Yeah, it's like, well, dog, well, which way you want me to be? <laughs> if my tone is low and, you know, it's condescending. But then again, it's just a certain type of man. You know, that's why some people are here today and some people are not. Oh, okay. And moving on. Definitely got to handle it before going to bed. Can't go to bed angry, especially since joy comes in the morning. You know what? You are speaking to my soul, honey, because um, that is so true. Like, that is true. I do not like going to bed angry. And that's one thing that I am working on is trying to resolve something in a way where he will receive it from me mm -hmm. in a way where he will accept what I'm saying, may not agree. But accept it, and we can agree to disagree, or you know, or come up with some kind of solution. Yeah. So I don't have to go to bed angry, or he doesn't have to go to bed angry because nobody I wants go to, to bed that. peaceful. I don't have okay. time for that. That's one thing about being a single life, life honey. honey no. I go to bed peaceful. But anyway, we are um on countdown. We want yes. to thank everybody for joining in tonight. Thank you, thank time you. Been, thank y'all for being patient with us for eating this food. We were so hungry. We did not want to <laughs> eat no cold food later. We're trying to put it in the microwave. We really appreciate y'all for sticking it out. Uh, hello to all our new people who have just found us on social media. Hello to everybody and also yes. our podcast. If you just stumble upon us, go ahead and like our YouTube, our IG, our Facebook. Come holla at your girls. We are always here on IG. Yes, always. Um, and we yeah. also want to give a shout out to I'm Ready for Black Love. We Y'all yes, shouted us out earlier. Family. We did not miss that. Thank you so much. And y'all make sure y'all also check them out at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. Yeah. They also go live. And, yeah, and hopefully we'll see them, meet them soon. Yeah. And we thank y'all for joining. Make sure y'all check out all of our social media accounts, Facebook, IG, all that good stuff. And until next Wednesday, honey, for Moza next Wednesday. How was your Thanksgiving, though? It was bomb. It was good. It was I had good. a, I had I had a good great trip. Oh, my God. Maybe next week we'll have to tell you because we forgot all about talking yeah, about that. Yeah, we forgot about that. But, okay, it's but okay. We had a good We had a good time. We had a, we had a, I had a great oh, time. Oh, and y'all make sure y'all check out our monogamy review tomorrow. It's going up tomorrow. It's going up tonight. Oh, it's going up tonight. Well, y'all probably be asleep. So, it'll go up tomorrow. You'll yeah. see it tomorrow. 
Uh, y'all make sure y'all check out our monogamy review on YouTube. Okay? I reviews. I review. Oh yeah, because we have multiple reviews. Multiples, baby. Multiples. Y'all make sure y'all check them out. And so, we love y'all for down. Free. Bye. Uh oh. I don't think it's.